Come on, give me something cool. I can see people's locations. Well, that's a bit boring, isn't it? Hey, Mom. So, what did you get, sweetie? I can see people's locations. Can you check where your brother is for me? Sure. Where is my brother? It says he's at Jackson's house. At Jackson's house? He's supposed to be at school. Gotta go, Mom. Hey, Giselle, can you see people's locations? Yeah, I can. Can you please look to see where my boyfriend is? Of course. Where's Isabel's boyfriend? It says he's at Olivia's house. Olivia's house? I knew he was cheating on me. Mom, I'm home. Honey, please check to see where your dad is. Yeah. Where's my dad? It says he's getting sushi. Hey, guys, I'm home. Dad, you're supposed to be getting sushi. What do you mean? No, I'm not. Mom, I'm home. Honey, please check to see where your dad is. Yeah. Where is my dad? It says he's getting sushi. Hey, guys, I'm home. Dad? You're supposed to be getting sushi. What do you mean? No, I'm not. Hey, Mom, can I talk to you alone for a second? Sure, honey. What did you want to talk about, sweetie? Are you sure that's really Dad? Of course it is. What do you mean? His location says he's still getting sushi. It's probably just a glitch. I can't deal with this right now. I have to go finish dinner. Now he's on his way home. You know what? Maybe the thing was glitching. Where is my dad? In trouble? Dad? Giselle, get your mom and get out of the house. You two are in trouble. The man there is not me. You know what? Maybe the thing was glitching. Where is my dad? He's in trouble? Dad? Giselle, get your mom and get out of the house now. You two are in trouble. The man there is not me. What do you mean it's not... Mom? Sweetie, you're just in time for dinner. Actually, can I talk to you first? Can it wait till after we've eaten? No, it can't. This is important. Fine, but make it quick. So, what's this about? Mom, we have to get out of here now. What do you mean? Why? The man in the kitchen is not Dad. Giselle, you're being ridiculous. Of course it's Dad. No, it's not, because Dad just called me and told me we need to leave. Is this another one of your silly jokes? I don't have time for this. No, Mom, I'm not. Look, where is Dad? Hey, what's going on in here? I'm starving. So, what's this about? Mom, we have to get out of here now. What do you mean? Why? The man in the kitchen is not Dad. You're being ridiculous. Of course it's Dad. No, it's not, because Dad just called me and told me we need to leave. Giselle, is this another one of your silly jokes? I don't have time for this. No, Mom, I'm not. Look. Where is Dad? What are you two doing? I'm starving. Me and Giselle are just about done here. Let's go sit the table. Mmm, honey, the food was so good. Giselle, aren't you going to thank your mom for the food? Yeah. Thanks, Mom. Giselle, can I talk to you? Alone? What did you want to talk about? I know you know I'm not your dad. And I want to know how you found out. You better not say another word to your mom. You're not going to hurt us, are you? I won't hurt you if you cooperate with me. The outcome depends on you. Do you understand? Understood. Happy birthday, sweetie. Thanks, mom. What'd you get me? Here. Skittles? They give you special abilities. Yeah, whatever. Magical powers. Well, I guess I could try one. I don't feel any different. Bye, Mom. I'm going to school. Wait, honey. I have some bad news. Your grandma passed away. Oh. Well, that sucks. Wait, you're not sad? No. Why should I be? Bye, Mom. Oh, no. That's horrible. What's horrible? Jessica got hit by a car. Oh, my gosh. For real? Well, I'm sorry for her. What's wrong with you? Hey, baby. We have to break up. I hooked up with Emily. Oh. Well, that's okay. What do you mean, that's okay? Was it good? Was what good? The hook up. Was it good? I knew you never loved me. Let me try another one. Ooh, purple. My favorite. 
I wonder what this is gonna do. Good morning, Mom. Hey, honey. I wonder if she knows that she's adopted. Wait, I'm adopted? Yes, I'm sorry, honey. How did you find out? No, it's okay. I'm going to school. Hey, Giselle. Oh, hey, Olivia. I had so much fun hooking up with her boyfriend last night. Wait, you hooked up with Lucas? How do you know that? It's fine. I've always been taught to give my all toys to the less fortunate. Well done, Giselle. You got an A-plus on your test. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bates. She can definitely get an A-plus on me. Can I transfer out of this class? Ugh, Giselle, come on, just go on a date with me. Tyler, you ask me every day, and every day I tell you no. Fine, I'll just watch you by your window again tonight. I have to remind myself to close my blinds. I'll try another color. Orange? Let's go see what this one does. Hey, Mom. I never loved you. I regret having you and your sister is my favorite child. I don't know why I said that. It's okay. I'm leaving for school. Well, that was freaky. Hey, Jess. I'm only friends with you because you have a hot dad. Wait, you're only friends with me because I have a hot dad? Yes, I don't like you. You're a shitty person. Good to know. Hey, psst, Giselle. What's up? Doesn't Mr. Fitz look so hot? I want to marry him and have his babies. Did you just admit to being in love with our math teacher? I don't know how much more of this I can take. Hey, babe, I've been meaning to tell you I'm in love with your mother, we're getting married, and I'm going to be your stepfather. I'm going crazy. What's the next color? Green? So good. Let's go find out what this one does. Hey, Mom. I still can't believe you failed your math test. I wish you would just forget about that. Forget about what? My math mog? What math mog? Never mind. I'm going to school. No way. Does this power make my wishes come true? Hey, Giselle. Hey, I wish you would give me your hat. Oh my gosh, yes, take it. Thanks. Giselle, you failed your math test again. Sir, I wish you would just give me an A+. Actually, you got an A+. Hey, Jackson. Hey, Giselle. I wish you would go on a date with me tonight. Well, keep wishing, because it's not going to happen. Wait, what? Do you think I'm dumb? Which color should we try next? Let's do yellow. Pause and play. I wonder what that does. Hey, Mom. Giselle, why didn't you do the dishes last night like I told... I guess I could do the dishes quickly. I told you to. What do you mean, Mom? I did them last night. Go check. Oh, I'm sorry. I must have been confused. I'm going to school. Okay, class, get ready for a pop quiz. Pop quiz? Well, I definitely don't feel like doing that. Wait, where'd Giselle go? That's one way to get out of it. Ugh, this class is so boring. Why isn't it pausing? Could you stop that? I'm trying to listen to the material. I got 69 crushes. There's no way that's true. And why not? How many crushes do you have? None, but I don't need any. Oh. Here, you drop this. Thank you. Whoa, I got one crush already? That was fast. How did my crushes go up that fast? I haven't even spoken to anyone. Hey, Brianna. Hi. Hey, Brianna. What's going on? I'm like all of a sudden popular. Whoa, there's no way I have over a thousand crushes now. I don't even know that many people. Um, Brianna, I think it's because of this. Oh. My. Um, Brianna, I think it's because of this. Oh. My. That is not how I remember it. Oh. Here, you drop this. Oh my gosh, it's hair flip, girl. Quick, do the hair flip. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm running late to class. 
look at Brianna sitting there. She's such a pick me. I know, she's just sitting there like, pick me, pick me. You guys know I can hear you, right? Hair flip, hair flip, hair okay, flip. Okay, I'll do it. Whoa, yo, I got that on video. Hey, bestie. It's so nice to finally be popular. Wait, why are my crushes going down so fast? You might want to see this. It's time for your fifth mark. Yay, I'm so excited. I'm finally going to be five. Congratulations. Yay, me. Time for your tenth mark. Finally. I'm so excited to grow up. And you're all done. It's time for your seventeenth mark. You're going to be an adult next year. There, you're officially seventeen. Now you only have one year to figure out what you're going to do for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. It's almost time for a yearly mark. Have you applied to any schools yet? No, I haven't decided yet. Well, now's the time to figure it out. We're getting our marks tomorrow. We're going to be adults. All right, it's time for your 18th mark. I hope you're ready for adulthood. Actually, I have to use the washroom. I'll be right back. What would happen if I don't get my 18th mark? Would they even notice I'm gone? I'm not going back there. Um, I'm home. What? How is that possible? I only have 17 marks. Look who just turned 18. Yeah, I guess I am. Let me see your new mark. No, you're not 18. You only have 17 marks. That's so weird. I got my 18th mark. I must not be 18 yet. Look at us. We're 18 now. Wait, where's your 18th mark? I, I got my mark. It just didn't show up. I guess I'm not meant to be 18 yet. Did you hear? Her 18th mark never showed up when she got it. She's still 17. That's not even possible. Brianna? Uh, yes? Please go to the office. There's someone here to see you. Ooh, she's in trouble. Do you even know what you've done? You've messed with time as we know it. No one in the history has missed getting their mark. There's major consequences for this. What's going to happen is... Skip school or stay home. My mom wouldn't let me stay home if I wanted to, so... Hey, Mom, can you give me a ride to school? Sure, honey, I'll start the car. On second thought, I'll walk. Thank goodness, you could lose a couple pounds. Yeah, that's a great point. Thank you so much for bringing that up, Mom. Thank you. Hey, Giselle, do you want to go on a date with me? Jake? Seriously? I've had a crush on you since forever. So, do you want to go? I can't. I'm busy that night. I didn't even tell you which night. Yeah, I'm busy all nights. Hey girl, do you want to come to the mall with us? <laughs> For once, a good option is free. Yeah. You guys, I just found this giant Squishmallow. Are you gonna buy it? Of course I am. It's a great investment. Your gems. What? You guys, I just found this giant Squishmallow. Are you gonna buy it? Of course I am. It's a great investment. Giselle, your gems. What? You have a million gems. But how is that possible? It went up when you bought the Squishmallow. Am I being punked? Mom, I'm home. What's that? Oh, this? This is my new giant Squishmallow. How many gems did you spend on that stupid Excuse thing? Excuse me? Squishmallows are not stupid. And she was only 10 gems. Do you really have 10 gems to waste? As a matter of fact, I do. I have a million. Here, I'll send you 100,000. Honey, where did you get that? Stop asking questions, Mom. You're welcome. Oh, someone's at the door. I'll get it. Hello, may I help you? Are you Giselle? Yeah. You're under arrest for the possession of stolen gems. Hey, Mom. Oh my gosh, your glasses are so cute. Can I try them? Yeah, of course, honey. Here. No way. You used to be a stripper? What? Don't judge me. I'm not judging. Get that back, sis. Giselle, hold my hat. Okay. I was so high. Shut up. You went to jail, but you're only 16. Uh, how do you know about that? It's a secret. Damn, it's so cold in here. Do you want to borrow my jacket? Yeah, that's great. Thank you. You know what? On second thought, I'm fine. And thank you so much for reminding me to close my blinds. Ugh, my hair is so annoying. Jessica, do you have a scrunchie for me? Yeah, you're in luck. Great, thank you.
Mr. Fit? Ugh, my hair is so annoying. Hey, Jessica, do you have a scrunchie for me? Yeah, you're in luck. Thanks. Mr. Fitz? You know about that? You're secretly dating Mr. Fitz? Giselle, keep your voice down. Do you know how much trouble you could get in? You could get expelled, and he could be thrown in jail. Well, none of that will happen if you just keep your mouth shut. Yeah, don't worry. Your dirty little secret is safe with me. I can't believe I have to sit in a classroom every day knowing my teacher is in a relationship with my best friend. Miss Giselle, can I talk to you for a second? Um, yeah, of course, Mr. Fitz. Alone. Um, okay. So why did you want to see me? You look cold. Put on my jacket. You freaking per- Okay, what do you choose? Uh, I choose snow, because I want to be just like mommy. Aw, good choice, honey. Don't you worry. I'll teach you how to use your powers. Mom, please don't leave me. Take this, honey, so that a part of me will always be with you. Alicia, meet your new stepmom, Greta. What a pleasure it is to meet- Oh! My hand! I'm so sorry. I- I didn't mean to. My hand, it's blue. Go to your room. Is she going to be okay? She has frostbite, but it's mild. Are those the gloves I gave you? Good. Keep them on until you can get your powers under control. Darling, she could have killed me. I am so sorry. Her powers, they've been going haywire ever since her mother passed. Well, she is a danger to all of us. She should be locked in that room. No, I couldn't do that to her. Don't you care about me? Greta, of course I do. Then it's settled. She won't ever leave that room. Here's your breakfast, princess. Oh, thank you. <gasps> you took off your gloves? Uh, yeah, just for a second, though. Oh my gosh. Uh, stay back. I'm gonna leave the food right here. Wait. Hey, Alicia, can I come in? I don't know. Can you? Because it doesn't seem like anyone else is allowed in here. I'm sorry, but I can't have you hurting people with your powers. I won't. I can control them now. Okay, then. Make a single snowflake. Just one? Uh-huh. Like how your mother used to. See? It's all right. You can't do it. But I can learn. I know you will. But until then, you have to stay in here. Dad, please. Put your gloves back on, all right? I'll be back to check on you later. If no one's even allowed near me, what's the point of wearing these anyways? I have to get out of here. Here's your lunch, princess. <gasps> hey! Guards, stop her! She froze my feet to the floor. Put your gloves back on, princess. So you guys can keep me locked in here? I don't think so. <gasps> hey! Stop her! I made it. I'm... I'm free. But where will I go? Mom always said that I could create anything that I imagined, so why don't I just make a place for myself to live? Stop it. You got this. It's working. Whoa, I can't believe I made this place. I mean, it's not exactly perfect, but it'll do. I just feel like I'm gonna get a little bit lonely in here, so maybe I can make myself some sort of a pet. I've always wanted a dog. Oh, I think I'll call you Snowball. Well, well. Greta, what are you doing here? I'm here to bring you home. This is my home now. I think it's time I showed you my little secret. You have powers? Yes, I was a princess after all. Guess which one I chose? Why don't I just show you? You have fire powers? Mm-hmm. And I'm impressed with this place, but I think it could use a little remodeling. Stop! You're melting it! <laughs> exactly. Snowball, run! <laughs> Guards, get her. Yes, your majesty. Stay back. I'm... I'm warning you. Come on, work. That's enough. Let's go. Ugh. Sit down. Sorry for the restraints, Alicia, but your powers are just out of control. I want to speak to my dad. Oh, Alicia, I'm so sorry. Who wants to break her the news? What happened was all your fault, really. What are you talking about? Well, you see, dear, after you ran away, your father went to go looking for you. I begged him not to, but he wouldn't listen. 
He hasn't returned since. What? Yes, and I guess with him gone, I'm your guardian now. No, you have to send guards out to go looking for him. No one could survive in that snowstorm, Alicia. And to think this all happened because you ran away. The king is gone because of you. Take her to the dungeon. What if he's still out there, probably freezing to death? Oh, if I could just get my hands out of these things. Oh, it's no use. I'm never going to get out of here. Focus. Focus. Who said that? You know who I am. Mom, please don't leave me. Take this, honey, so that a part of me will always be with you. The necklace, it, it must be magic. Mom, please, tell me how to get out of here. Okay, what do you choose? Uh, I choose snow, because I want to be just like mommy. Aw, good choice, honey. Don't you worry. I'll teach you how to use your powers. Mom, please don't leave me. Take this, honey, so that a part of me will always be with you. Alicia, meet your new stepmom, Greta. What a pleasure it is to meet- Oh! My hand! I'm so sorry. I- I didn't mean to. My hand, it's blue. Go to your room. Is she going to be okay? She has frostbite, but it's mild. Are those the gloves I gave you? Good. Keep them on until you can get your powers under control. Darling, she could have killed me. I am so sorry. Her powers, they've been going haywire ever since her mother passed. Well, she is a danger to all of us. She should be locked in that room. No, I couldn't do that to her. Don't you care about me? Greta, of course I do. Then it's settled. She won't ever leave that room. Here's your breakfast, princess. Aw, oh, thank you. <gasps> you took off your gloves? Uh, yeah, just for a second, though. Oh my gosh. Uh, stay back. I'm gonna leave the food right here. Wait. Hey, Alicia, can I come in? I don't know. Can you? Because it doesn't seem like anyone else is allowed in here. I'm sorry, but I can't have you hurting people with your powers. I won't. I can control them now. Okay, then. Make a single snowflake. Just one? Uh-huh. Like how your mother used to. See? It's all right. You can't do it. But I can learn. I know you will. But until then, you have to stay in here. Dad, please. Put your gloves back on, all right? I'll be back to check on you later. If no one's even allowed near me, what's the point of wearing these anyways? I have to get out of here. Here's your lunch, princess. <gasps> hey! Guards, stop her! She froze my feet to the floor! Put your gloves back on, princess. So you guys can keep me locked in here? I don't think so. Ooh. Ooh. Hey! Stop her! I made it. I'm... I'm free. But where will I go? Mom always said that I could create anything that I imagined, so why don't I just make a place for myself to live? Stop it. You got this. It's working. Whoa, I can't believe I made this place. I mean, it's not exactly perfect, but it'll do. I just feel like I'm gonna get a little bit lonely in here, so maybe I can make myself some sort of a pet. I've always wanted a dog. Oh, I think I'll call you Snowball. Ah! Well, well. Greta, what are you doing here? I'm here to bring you home. This is my home now. I think it's time I showed you my little secret. You have powers? Yes, I was a princess after all. Guess which one I chose? Why don't I just show you? You have fire powers? Mm-hmm. And I'm impressed with this place, but I think it could use a little remodeling. Stop! You're melting it! <laughs> exactly. Snowball, run! <laughs> Guards, get her. Yes, your majesty. Stay back. I'm... I'm warning you. Come on, work. That's enough. Let's go. <sighs> Sit down. Sorry for the restraints, Alicia, but your powers are just out of control. I want to speak to my dad. Oh, Alicia, I'm so sorry. Who wants to break her the news? What happened was all your fault, really. What are you talking about? Will you see, dear? After you ran away, your father went to go looking for you. I begged him not to, but he wouldn't listen. He hasn't returned since. What? Yes, and I guess with him gone, I'm your guardian now. No, you have to send guards out to go looking for him. No one could survive in that snowstorm, Alicia. And to think this all happened because you ran away. The king is gone because of you. 
take her to the dungeon. What if he's still out there, probably freezing to death? Oh, if I could just get my hands out of these things. Oh, it's no use. I'm never going to get out of here. Focus. Focus. Who said that? You know who I am. Mom, please don't leave me. Take this, honey, so that a part of me will always be with you. The necklace, it, it must be magic. Mom, please, tell me how to get out of here. Come on, give me an X. Oh, no, no, no. I cannot be a hider. My whole family are seekers. Concealer, please don't fail me now. Okay, let's see your mark. <gasps> yes, I knew Our it. Our girl is a seeker. Now we can finally tell you how the game works. So, of course, there's hiders and there's seekers, but everyone wants to be a seeker. The hiders are given a certain amount of time to hide, and then we get to go find them. When you find the hiders, do you... No, honey. <sighs> okay. We knock them out, and then we trade them in for money. What? If you turn in a family member that's a hider, you get a million. Well, I mean, that's kind of stupid, because family members, they are worth a lot more than money. Right? I'd turn your butt in in five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Honey? What? You're sweating. No. You okay? Um, no. I actually think that I might be bleeding, so I'm gonna go wash my face. I'll be right back. Ah, oh, shit. I knew it. The makeup came off. What the? Ellie. No. You're a hider. I can explain. You little liar. I'm telling mom and dad. Kim's a hider. What? What? She faked your mark. I'm sorry. Why would you do that? Because I, I was scared. Attention, the game has begun. All hiders now have two hours to find a hiding spot. Go hide. No. You have to. Just don't let us find you. But hide now, damn it. Get out of here. This is my spot. I don't know where to hide. All the flights are booked and all the buses are filled. What am I going to do? <laughs> Shh. Listen, you're about to get caught. Hey, I said you're about to get caught. Come on, let's go. You're a seeker. You're trying to trick me. This mark is fake. If I were a real seeker, you'd be knocked out by now. Just play along. What? Shh, don't say anything. Well, well, what do we have here? You caught a hider, huh? Yeah, she was a hard one to find, but I finally caught her. We were just leaving, actually. Nah, she's not going anywhere. Don't touch her. <laughs> <laughs> Um, are hiders allowed to fight back? No, not really. Run! Oh, shit. Quick, in there! Whoa, wait, what is that? An underground tunnel I made. Now, come on! I am not going down there. I don't even know if I can really trust you. I've gotten you this far, haven't I? We have to go now. We'll be safe down here. Why are you helping me? Because you... Who gave you that necklace? My sister. Get rid of that necklace. Your sister is tracking you. No, she... she wouldn't. Oh, yes, she would. We need to keep moving. No. Excuse me? Yeah, I want to know why you came out of nowhere like, like some ninja and saved me, but you don't even know me. It's because you remind me of my sister who got traded in by my family. They traded in your sister for a million dollars? Yeah, and from then on, I've been trying to protect all the hiders I can. What was that? They found my tunnel. I'll distract them. You run. No, I'm not gonna leave you. Yes, you are. I'm not losing another girl on my watch. Now go! <laughs> Ellie, found you. You're it. Oh. Sorry, sis. That necklace led me right to you. Time to get my million. Nighty night, Kim. Time to get my money. Where am I? And what am I wearing? We're in Hyder Prison, and that's our uniform. They think we're related. Really? I mean, we do kind of look alike, I guess. You remind me of my sister, who got traded in by my family. Do you have a brother that's a Hyder? Yeah, why? Because I think I know him. He tried to save me, but my sister turned me in. He is so worried about you. There has to be some way out of here. After you get caught, you have the option to end the game, but if you do, you die. Someone has to sacrifice themselves to save everyone else. That's why no one ends the game. I'll do it. My whole family turned against me, so I really have nothing, and you deserve to be with your brother. No. 
want to end the game. It'll be okay. No, please. Congratulations, your bravery has made you leader. Our marks are gone. You pick the next game. Make a wish. Hey, happy birthday. What's your soulmate's name so daddy can take care of him? Dad. I'm kidding. Come on. His name hasn't even shown up yet. Okay, but when it shows up, you tell me who it is. Understand? No, please. I'm telling you. I, I don't know nothing. Oh. Maria, put your headphones on. Hey, Maria. Yeah? I finally did it, sweetheart. I got his location. And by his, do you mean the man that killed... Your mother. Yeah. Turns out he's got a secret son. You're kidding. Nah, he's a CEO of a company. Let me guess. You want me to use him to get to his father? Yep. I already got a plan. What's his name? Antonio. Antonio Stefano. What? What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. Just thought I saw a bug. Tell me what you need me to do. And pretend you got a big business deal for him. Okay, but what if he's not interested? Then you make him interested. For mom, I'll do whatever it takes. He's ready for you. Mr. Stefano, Miss Lane is here. Nice to meet you, Mr. Stefano. Please, call me Antonio. Take a seat. I hear you have a business proposal for me. Actually, I do. May I show it to you? Go right ahead. And that's how this deal will make us millions. That's amazing. Unfortunately, I'm not looking to make any deals right now. Then why did you have me explain it? I like the sound of your voice. Now, why don't you do me a favor, doll, and tell me why you're really here? I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Don't lie to me, Miss Lane, if that's even your real last name. What are you implying? Let's just say I have a lot of enemies. And you think that one of them sent me to what? Kill you? Maybe. Maybe not. But one thing's for sure. Your little business deal was bullshit. What makes you say that? Some of the math was off. By a lot. Look, I don't know who you think I... Stefano, your father's on the phone? <sighs> Stay here. We are not done. Excuse me. Dad, did you get all that? Yeah, the son of a gun smarter than I thought. Yeah, maybe double check your math next time. Look, you gotta get out of there. I can't, he... He's coming back. Now where were we? You were just about to let me go home. Not gonna happen, Miss Lane. Not until you tell me what's really going on. Fine. First off, don't Quite call so. me Miss Lane you anymore. Me. My you name's Miss Lane. Cool. And secondly, this conversation hasn't been private. Maria, what the hell are you doing? But now it is. Who was listening in? If you want to know that, I suggest you sit down and listen very carefully. So we're soulmates. And your father doesn't want us to be together? Yes, but I'm done listening to him. I... I want to be with you. Maria, what the hell was that about, huh? Relax, he's got a thing for me. And I put a tracker on him. I gotta say I'm impressed. We're finally gonna get justice for your mother. I see his car. He's here. Copy that. Hey, you came. Of course. <laughs> I'm ready to run away with you. Me too. I say we leave and never come back here again. Cheers. To new beginnings. So, whose car are we gonna take? <laughs> Let's, Let's take, take mine. mine. No thanks. Actually, I wasn't really asking, sweetheart. Neither was I, sweetheart. Let me guess, you found the tracker. Did you think I wouldn't? Obviously I did, which is why I came prepared. Want to know why I chose this restaurant for us to meet at? Why? Because my father knows all the waiters, including one that served you your drink. You little... Bring the van. He's not going anywhere. Let me handle this. No, Dad, I want to stay. Maria, he's gonna wake up any minute and... Why do you keep looking at him like that? You didn't tell me your soulmate's name. Um, I... Sounds like someone's about to get grounded. Your father doesn't know. Does he? Doesn't know what? Your daughter and I are soulmates. Are you kidding me? Dad, I can explain. Nah, Maria. He's dead. No, he's not responsible for what happened to Mom. His father is. What are you two talking about? Your dad killed my mom. That's why I came after you. My father wouldn't go that far. Guess you don't know him too well. He's right. Dominic? Dad? How did you find him? I always keep an eye on my son. Now tell me, Antonio. Which one of them should I take out first? Last time I checked, you were outnumbered. Oh, but am I? Oh, no. Maria, you know what you have to do. You're next. Dad, what are you doing? I want them to stay away from me. 
I remember. Stop! She's my soulmate. What? Oh. Dad! Relax. I didn't shoot to kill. How's your father holding up? He's doing pretty good for someone who just got shot in the shoulder. How about yours? He's pissed, but he's alive. Maria, listen. I want you to know I had no idea about your mom, and I'm turning my father in. You are? Yes. Look, I'm sure your dad's no saint either, but what my father did. No little girl should have to witness that. Thank you, Antonio. That, that means a lot to me. And it means a lot to me that you didn't kill him when you had the chance. Where are you going? Leave him. I figure you don't want to be with me. Antonio, wait. I do want to be with you. Then what do you say we put our parents' past behind us and start fresh? I'd like that. This is my daughter. Hi. Oh, hello. And how much time do you have left to talk? I have two hours left. Perfect. I've been dying to get to know my future stepdaughter. And that's how I met your daddy. Wow, that was a really long story. I know, and I haven't even let you talk. Go on, it's your turn. Well, I like to play... Oh no, are you all out of talking time? Well, there's always tomorrow. Ten minutes? Are you kidding me? Man, till Ingrid breakfast is ready. Hey, Ingrid, my dad wanted me to... Yes, and the best thing is he's filthy rich. <laughs> no, he doesn't suspect a thing. <gasps> How long were you standing there for? You little gold digger. I'm telling my dad. Dad, you won't believe what I just heard Ingrid saying. I told you to get her. The breakfast is getting cold. No, forget about her breakfast, okay? Ingrid is a... A what, Anne? Spit it out. Oh, boy, you're out of talking time, aren't you? Did I hear Anne is all out of speaking time? Yeah, poor thing barely got to talk at all today. Wait, Anne, just text me what you want to say. What's the matter? Don't tell me you forgot to charge your phone again. You're kidding me. Anne, that's not really responsible behavior. I agree. But hey, I gotta go to work, so text me once you charge your phone. Hello, Anne. I'm really sorry, but I can't let you do that. Don't worry, I'll keep it safe. Why didn't you text me? Dad, she took my iPhone and my iPad. You did? Oh, would you look at that? She found another way to communicate. And yes, I did, because I caught her watching some inappropriate videos. Anne, is that true? She won't admit it, darling, but I did catch her, and she really needs some discipline. <gasps> oh! Anne, that's it. You're grounded. Get out of here. Ingrid, I'm so sorry. This behavior is not like her. Don't worry about it, darling. I think I do know where you can make it up to me, though. <laughs> Let's start by getting that shirt off of you. Yes! Oh my gosh, she is so busted. Dad, guess what? I got five hours of talking time today. You better be using that time to apologize to Ingrid. No, Dad, there's something that I need to tell you. No, first eat your breakfast. You have plenty of time to talk. Okay, I finished my food. Can I please talk to you now? Okay, but thank Ingrid for the breakfast. Wait, she made this? Yes, even after you were so disrespectful to her. So I want an apology to her first, and then we'll talk. No, Dad, wait. <laughs> Don't give me that little laugh. I have five hours of talking time, so my dad is going to find out exactly what you... Exactly what you... Are you okay, Anne? Uh, there you go. Now just rest, darling. You sure she's all right? Yes, I think it's just a bad flu bug. Don't worry, I'll watch over her while you're at work. Oh, thank goodness you're up. Dad? Yeah, hey, how are you feeling? What time is it? It's 4 p.m. You were asleep for almost the whole day. Luckily, Ingrid watched over you. Ingrid? Ingrid did this to me. She... Oh, you're all out of talking time. Oh, you want your phone? Well, sweetheart, Ingrid accidentally broke it. But don't worry, I'm going to get you a new one. Also, don't freak out, but we moved our wedding date up to next weekend. Look, I know this is a lot to take in, but the venue that we wanted had an opening, and we just had to take this opportunity. All right, this time, no messing around. Dad, Ingrid is a liar, and you won't believe what she's hiding from you. Sweetheart, I think I know what you're talking about. You do? Yep, she told me the news this morning. Yes, darling, I told him I'm pregnant. What? I'm so happy for us, Ingrid. Anne's always talking about how she wanted a little sibling. This isn't over, Ingrid. 
Really? Because I think it is. Face it, darling, I have your daddy wrapped around my little finger. And if you cause any more trouble, I'll convince him to ship you up to boarding school. <laughs> Here, Anne, take out the trash. Your daddy and I are going golfing. <sighs> Seriously? Wait a minute, is this her pregnancy test? That little liar, she's not even pregnant. Oh, it's time to expose her, but what better time to do that than her wedding day? Ugh, this is ridiculous. What's the matter? I only got three hours of talking time. Oh, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Listen here, you little brat. If you do anything today to ruin my wedding, you'll regret it. I'm almost out of talking time. What if I can't say I do? Ingrid, it's gonna be okay. Yeah, and if you can't talk, you can always just nod. That'll work just fine. Yeah, exactly. Darling, could I speak to Anne alone for a moment? I know you're planning to ruin my wedding. I can sense it. Oh, Ingrid, I would never do such a thing. Then why do you seem so damn happy? Because I know that you're not really pregnant. Oh, I see. So you're going to try and expose me? Well, do you really think your daddy will believe you? Yes, I do, because I have proof. Really? Well, would it happen to be on this phone? How did you? Ingrid, it's time for the wedding. Coming, darling. Now, why don't you just fetch? No! Oh, thank goodness it's not broken. Your Majesty, we found this peasant running around holding this sign, begging for more words. What a pity. A wordless beggar. Feed him to the dogs. <laughs> Your Majesty, please help my family. You only had six words left, and you wasted them on me. Your Majesty, you have infinity words, and the townspeople are really struggling. You could give them all words, and you'd still have infinity. And why would I do that? I run a palace, not a charity. You are one evil, evil queen. Who are you? Reveal yourself immediately. You don't deserve all those words. <laughs> Guards, a witch stole my word. Where'd she go? Give me your words. Immediately. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I cannot. Hello, Queen. You'd like to sell this crown? Too bad. I won't buy from you. These are real diamonds and gold. Yes, but you're a selfish queen, and you don't deserve any more words. Sorry, Your Majesty. I'll clean everything up quickly. Give me your words immediately. I'm sorry, but I don't have much to give. Guards, chop off first time. I've never seen you this quiet before. Word thief. Don't worry, I gave your words to someone more deserving. That servant girl? She's safe, and she has infinity words now. I'm sorry, your majesty. I'll clean everything up quickly. Give me your words immediately. I'm sorry, but I don't have much to give. Guards, chop off her head. What? Get over here. Hello, darling. This is for you. In infinity words? They'll be back. Come quickly. I'd like to sell these diamonds. Trying to scam me. These diamonds are fake. I'll buy those from you. Really? Why would you do that? Is 1,000 words okay? Yes, please. Servant girl. Your Majesty. Look, I'll give you words, as many as you want. All I ask is that you promise to be kind to me. Take this. The crown? Take over as queen. Okay, class, did everyone receive their intelligence score? No way, she got a zero. <laughs> what are you doing? I need to work really hard and prove everyone wrong. Good morning, Donna. Here's your coffee. Thank you. How did she become a CEO when she has an intelligence score of zero? Catherine? Uh, yes, boss? You'll be in charge of coffee runs today. No way, seriously? Seriously. Come in. Hey, I was just thinking it'd be a better image for the company if you put your intelligence score to private. We wouldn't want people thinking an idiot runs this company, right? Let them think what they want to think. I know, but... You may be excused. 
All right, everyone, let's begin the meeting. It's so cool to have a CEO with an intelligence score of 100. What? I can't believe you have an intelligence score of 100. You're so cool. Look at this article. You're getting praised everywhere. You're the first person in the world to reach an intelligence score of 100. So now, because I have an intelligence score of 100, everyone all of a sudden respects me? Good morning, everyone. I'd like you all to meet our new hires. Are you serious? These are the new hires? Their intelligence scores are extremely low. Hey, boss. Why did you hire a bunch of new staff that are, well, to put it lightly, dimwits? Have you spoken to any of them? No. Well, then I would like to ask you to speak with one of them, and I can assure you the staff I hire are very intellectual. <laughs> Oh my. Woo, party! Boss, all these dimwits you hired through a party and they're destroying the office. Ooh, this is so pretty. No, don't! What have I done? Happy birthday! Look what came in the mail! An egg? It's your very own magical creature. Wait, really? Yes, but you have to take good care of it and wait for it to hatch. But I want to see it now! Don't give me that attitude. You have to be patient. It will hatch on your 17th birthday. <clears throat> it hasn't hatched. No, not yet. I'm gonna take it to class with me. Please be careful. Don't let it get stolen. I won't. Guys, mine just hatched. I got a panda dragon. I got a koala unicorn. What about you? Well, actually, mine's still in the egg. <laughs> Yours is probably dead. It is not. Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, please hatch. I have waited so long for this. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's happening. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. Hi there, little guy. <laughs> That's a very rare creature you got there. Who are you? I found them. I'm gonna need you both to come with me. What? Actually, I just remembered I need to go back home. No, you need to come with- Hey! Honey, your egg hatched. Let's celebrate. No, Mom, now is not the time. I was being followed home, but I think I lost him. Excuse me, what? You were being followed? Yeah, by this creepy guy who said my creature was super rare and he wanted me to come with him. Oh no, you and your creature are in danger. What? Open up. I'm pretty sure he's a creature hunter. You two need to hide. But what are you gonna do? Don't worry, I'll get rid of him. Just go hide now and don't come out no matter what. I know you're here. Surprise! Found you. Now let's go. I said let's go. <laughs> Whoa, maybe now I can kind of see why they wanted you. Honey? Oh. Mom! Mom, you're hurt. I tried to stop him, but he was too strong. Oh. I'll help you. What is it doing? <gasps> Whoa, it... It healed me. This was so worth the wait. What? Nothing, sweetheart. I just, I can't believe it. He won't be passed out for long. I need to go get something. I'll be right back. So, you have laser eyes and the power to heal people? What else can you do? Okay, what is taking her so long? Mm. Shh, shh, I'm here to help you. You're telling me that I was stolen? Yes, when you were a baby, your mom stole you from your dad. He sent me to look for you. You're lying. I'm not. You need to come with me. You're not safe here. Well, look who's up. You're not going to take her creature. Oh, but I will. Mom, did you really steal me from dad? Yes, after our divorce, all I asked him for was your egg, but he wouldn't agree to that. So you didn't even want me? Of course not. And for 17 years, I've had to put up with you. But you know what? It was all worth it because your creature is amazing. Kid, you need to come with me now. She's not going anywhere. <laughs> you just... <sighs> Hello? Oh, please, wake up. What happened? I saved your life. Mom, what did you do to her? You killed. You used your laser vision on her? Yes, I protect you. Thank you. Molly! Is that you? My name isn't Molly. Oh, but it used to be. Before your mother took you from me. I can't believe I found you. Dad? It's me, honey. I think it's time you finally come home. <laughs> time to take your vitamins. Mom, do I have to? They make my head hurt. That means they're working. What exactly are they doing for me? Shh, open. Mom, stop. I can take it myself. Okay, let me see. Good job. Let's 
Next one's at lunch? Yeah, okay, I know. You're gonna make me late. Hey, cool if I sit here for lunch? Sure. Why does no one talk to you? Um, FaceTime from mom. I'm really sorry, but I have to take this um, in private. Mom, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Look, I just need to see you take it. There, are you happy? Yes, good job, honey. I love you. Why? This is why I'm never gonna have any friends. Hey, what the hell? Where did you come from? They're after me. There isn't much time. You need to stop taking those vitamins. They're Stop taking those vitamins. They're suppressing your powers. Powers? Yes, you're a special just like your father. Oh, what? How do you know my father? I'm out of time. Just don't take those pills tonight and you'll see what happens. No, wait! <laughs> okay, it's time. Good job, honey. You just earned yourself some dessert. She's gotta stop treating me like I'm five. Kara, vitamin time. Okay, I'm coming. Go on, take it. What's wrong? Kara, don't tell her anything. She can't be trusted. Honey, what? Uh, nothing. Never mind. Uh-huh. Well, don't be late to class now. Bye, Mom. No, Kara, wait. I found your vitamins in the trash. Why were they in the trash? The better question is, why are you making me take them? I know they're not really vitamins. How do you know that? I just... I just know, okay? Damn it. Derek found you, didn't he? Who? Never mind. You have to take them. No, Mom. I'm going to school. Don't tell me no. You will take them. I know what's best. Open your mouth. No, you... You stay back. Oh, You are in so much... I know I have powers. Honey, you don't even know how to use them. <laughs> yeah, I do. Just watch. <laughs> Come on. Work. Ow. I'm sorry, Kara, but I have to do this to protect you. Oh, okay, just stay there. Can you hear me? Mom. It's all right. Open your mouth. Mom, no. Mm. <laughs> Kara? <laughs> yes, my plan worked. Hey, it's all right. You're safe now. Dad? Dad? Kara, you look so grown up. Yeah, no shit. You left when I was eight. I was forced to leave you, Kara. I was being hunted. Hunted? By who? Ultra, an organization set on eliminating our kind. It was your mom's biggest fear that you would become a special. A special as in having special powers? Yes. We think you might be the most powerful out of all of us. I don't think I can trust you guys. I don't even know how I got here. All of us specials are connected. Somehow you knew subconsciously to teleport here. My dad was a special too, and Ulta killed him. And they would have gotten me as well if it weren't for your dad. Please, I just want to keep you safe. Specials have either teleportation, telepathy, or telekinesis. We think you have all three. Okay, so how do I learn how to use them? Now use your telepathy to put a number in Derek's mind. Are you saying five? Yes. She really has all three powers. I want to try teleportation now. Hold on, that one's hard. I just want to try it. Kara, wait. <laughs> Honey? Ready for the ghoul school? Yes, and I think my creature name is about to appear, but I already know it's gonna say vampire. Actually, darling- Dad, that's the bus. I gotta go. I don't want to be late. Welcome to class. Today we'll be learning about the rarest type of creature. Does anyone know what it is? Isn't the rarest one a mermaid? No, dear. It's a fairy. But aren't fairies extinct? No. Legend says there's only two left in the whole world. That is why all creatures here must get a DNA check. What would happen if one of the students here was a fairy? They would be taken for experimentation, but we've never found a fairy before. <laughs> Next in line. Hmm, your facial structure is very unique. Okay, open for the DNA test. We need your DNA. Wait, I... I feel sick. You look fine. No, really, I feel like I could just ugh, throw up at any second. Okay, you can have a pass for today. But you'll have to get the DNA check tomorrow. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thanks. Dad, you've got some explaining to do. My creature name just appeared and it says fairy. Oh, darling, I knew this day would come. So I'm not a vampire like you? Well, no, you're not. I knew it! You told me my things weren't coming in because I was a late bloomer, but I knew there was another reason. So I guess this means you're not actually my dad. No, I adopted you. Well, apparently fairies are the most rarest creature. Please tell me you didn't take the DNA test. No, I didn't. I told them that I was feeling sick, but they said I have to take it tomorrow. This is very... <gasps> what? 
Darling, look! <gasps> what do I do? Well, a fairies can control their wings. Try to make them disappear. Are they gone? Oh, yes, they're gone. Darling, you must control your wings at school. But I don't know if I can. You have to, or they will take you away for experimentation. There you are. It's time for the DNA test. I'm still not feeling well. You have to take it. I should really be getting to class. You can't go to class until you take the test. Hold still. We're taking a hair sample instead. Ow. See? That wasn't so bad. We'll have your results shortly. Go to class. Hey, Luna. Oh, hey, Julia. What's the matter? You seem really sad. I'm a little bit worried about something. Oh, well, you can trust me. What's bothering you? Well, attention, students. Will Luna Black please come to the front office? You guys wanted to see me? We got your DNA results. We need you to come with us. What? Take her away, boys. No. You really thought you could hide from us. Let me see your arm. This won't hurt a bit. Since you're one of the last fairies, we need to do research on your blood. Uh, don't be such a baby. Doctor, I think you may have taken too much blood. Let me see. She still has a pulse. She's fine. We need the pixie dust from her blood. Time to wake up. I feel really weak. That's because all your pixie dust is now in this necklace. You'll be dead soon. What? Yes, I'm afraid we've drained all your power. And fairies can't survive without their pixie dust. I'm sorry, dear. I can't hear you. <laughs> Dad? Luna, I had a feeling they would take you. It will be okay. I'm going to get you out of here. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You are the reason there's no more fairies left in this school. Wait! Oh! Quickly, take off that necklace. Now put on this one, darling, to restore your fairy power. Luna, quickly, take off that necklace. Now put on this one, darling, to restore your fairy power. Luna? No. Please work. Darling, are you alright? Yes, thank you. Of course, darling. I will always protect you. I'm sorry I'm not your real dad. Even though we might not be related by blood, you're always gonna be my dad. Oh, darling, thank you. I love you so much, Luna. I love you too. Well, I think it's time we leave this place. I know somewhere safe we can hide away and live. Red alert! What do we do? Well, we both have wings. Oh, yeah. Let's fly. Come on, let's go. All right, everyone, choose carefully between the blue or the red pill. Mine is a third option. It says green. That's so strange. I'm going to choose it. It could be something amazing. Ooh. Brianna, look, I can fly. Whoa! What special ability did you get? I don't know. Nothing's happened yet. I probably don't even have ability. I knew I shouldn't have chose that green one. Don't look now. Your crush Kevin is coming this way. Hi, Kevin! Kevin! Oh no. He's not breathing. Emily, what is going on? Emily! What happened here? I'll go get the nurse. Don't you understand, Brittany? They're gone! Brittany! What is going on? Wait a minute. It's me. I did this. Every time I said their name, they, they stopped breathing. What happened here? Uh, I, I don't know. Everybody just all of a sudden collapsed. Quickly, come with me. We need to figure out what's going on. Hello, I'm Officer Brad. Hello, Officer. I like to make this a comfortable environment. Don't worry, you can address me by my name. No. Don't be disrespectful. Say my name. It's rude not to do what a police officer says. Say it. Brad? I can't believe what happened to Officer Brad. He dropped, just like the others. I know, it's crazy. I found something strange on the security footage. Will you come have a look at it with me? Yeah, of course. There must be some kind of pattern. It looks like everybody dropped right after you said their name. Have you shown anybody else's footage? No, I just discovered it. You deleted everything! That's all I need. Goodbye, Susan. The teacher, she fell to the floor! I know, I don't know what happened! She's not breathing. You did something. You said goodbye and then she dropped. How did you know she would do that? You talk too much, Gary. Attention everyone. In order to keep all of our students safe, school will be cancelled until this situation is resolved. Thank you for your patience. Yay, no school! I hope this case never gets resolved. 
it's so weird what happened. They just stopped breathing for literally no reason. Look, it's her. She was there for the whole thing. She saw everything that happened. Yeah, and it was absolutely traumatizing. I'll need at least a week to recover. There's no way. You're definitely involved in this somehow. Yeah, she's right. How come you're the only one who's safe? You guys really need to know when to stop talking. Cynthia. No, no, please, I'm sorry. Jennifer. What? I only have one day left? Look who's 18 now. How much time did you get? One day. Here, I got 99 years. I'll give you some of my time. Thanks, but it doesn't really matter. My time's gonna run out sooner or later anyways. Hey, let's go to that coffee shop you love so much. It will cheer you up for sure. Good idea. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna use the bathroom. Why do you look so sad? Oh, you know, it's nothing. It's just that my time left is only one week, so... I wish I only had a week left. I got infinite time. I've already lived hundreds of years. Infinite time? That's not even possible. Where did she go? What did I miss? A strange lady just approached me telling me she has infinite time and that she wishes she only had a week left. Infinite time is impossible. No way. She gave me her infinite time. I I have to find her. Wait. Where did she go? She couldn't have gone that far. Brianna, don't you understand? She gave you all her time, meaning she's gone for good. I'm going to live forever. I'm going to give you at least a couple hundred years, you know, so I'm not so lonely living for all eternity. Error. Error. It won't let me. Either I give you my infinite years or nothing. I'm gonna be all alone. <laughs> Why are you crying? Are you okay? My time left is only two days. It's going to be okay. You're not going anywhere. No, you don't understand. It's over for me. I've already been lent so much time. What are you doing? It's what my dad would want. You picked the prince, right? Of course. Good, because I'm not having you marry a pirate. They can't be trusted. Dad was a pirate, and you married him. We don't speak of your father. You know that. Marianne, why do you have the pirate's mark? I don't know. Girl, don't lie to me. All right, fine, I picked the pirate, but I don't know why everyone is so afraid of them. They seem kind of cool. I don't think I can be friends with you. Why? Why? Because I'm not going to be associated with someone who wants to marry a pirate. They're dangerous, and now that you have that mark, they're going to come for you. Mom, I'm home. Mom? <gasps> Hello. We're looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. We're looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. I don't think that's... The captain wasn't asking. I knew it. I could sense her mark. Take her to the ship, boys. Yes, Captain. Wait, what? Welcome aboard the ship, the Blue Pearl. Legend says when you touch your soulmate, your mark will disappear. So let's see which one of us gets to marry you. Raise your sword if you think the girl is your soulmate. All right, make a line. Hello, miss. Let's see if it's me. Ah, but that's all of us. What about him? Father, do you think I could try? I told you to stay below deck. Ignore my son. He's no pirate. Wait, where'd you get that necklace? My father. Captain, doesn't that look just like the one that the... The Pirate King had. Tell me, what is your father's name? You know what? I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. My father was a pirate, but he wasn't a king. Why do you speak of him in past tense? Because he's dead. Who told you that? My mother. I see. So she was the sea witch who took you away. Don't call her that. She said she wanted to protect me from him. No. Your father wanted you to have a royal life. And she wanted you to have a normal one. At least that's what he told me. Wait a minute. You knew my father? Yes. We were great friends. Why don't I take you to him? You would do that? Of course. After all, you are royal blood. Princess, you have to get off the ship. Right now. What? Why? Because my father lied to you. He's not taking you to see your father, him, and all the other crewmates. They're cursed. The only way to break the curse is to sacrifice a royal. He wants to kill me. I want to help you, but we have to jump off the ship. Your mark, it's gone. 
That means I'm your... Well, soulmates. I don't even know your name. Oh, right. My name is William. I have a canoe we can escape Not in. so fast. You take my son. I'll take the girl. No! William! Where are we? We're on Skull Island, Princess. In the exact spot we were all cursed. How much of my blood do you need? To break the curse, we need all of it. Father, no! You stay away from my daughter. Dad? I told you he was alive. Take all of his crewmates into custody. Turn around. Wait, I was trying to help her! No, wait. Spare him, please. That's my soulmate. Gods, leave him. Yes, your majesty. Dad, I thought that you were dead. How did you find me? I gave you that necklace for a reason, love. It's a tracker. I see you chose to remain a princess. Well, Marianne, would you still like to marry a pirate? Yes. How would you like to be married? 